Now that I've been in India for a few days, I can say I love it. The energy, the culture, the history, the food, but more than anything, the people are wonderful. And one of the best things about India, it's inexpensive. The hotels, the restaurants, and even motorcycle rentals are very affordable for the typical Western traveler. What this means is I can travel light. Everything can stay at home. I don't need my camp gear. I don't need my cook gear. I don't even need my motorcycle support gear. In fact, everything I need for this three-week adventure fits in this lightweight, compact 29-liter backpack. India is not a place where camping is recommended. In fact, it's harder to camp than it is just to find affordable lodging. You can find very comfortable accommodations for as little as $15 a night, $20 a night. If I'm only here for a month or two, I'm going to rent a motorcycle. Motorcycles here for a nice Royal Enfield, the nicest bike and the biggest we've seen so far is the 350. But you can get a full size 500 for 15 or $20 a day. That's it. I mean, it's $600 for an entire month of rental. Let me show you what's in my bag. I've got all of my personal belongings here that I carry no matter how I travel. To give you some perspective, this is about the size of the smallest hard pan you're gonna find, which is around 30 liters. This is 29. Even my soft luggage is 35. I compartmentalize on this just like I do on the motorcycle so I can grab the things that are most important to me as quick as possible. On the very top is always gonna be my passport, unless I'm walking through town, in which case it's in a pocket, some sort of utility tool or multi-tool. This is perfect if I just need to carve up a mango or make some sort of quick repair or adjustment to my gear. The second level here is all my quick grab stuff. So it's gonna be my, my neck wrap, but also this is my charger for the computer. It's all of my cable to charge my smart devices like my cell phone, earplugs, if I'm traveling by train or by airplane. In the main compartment, I'm always gonna carry a very good camera with me so I can document my trips. In this case, I'm carrying a Sony mirrorless with a lens. All of my charge cables, all of my filters are built into this bag. This one go in the top of the bag, or I can just wear it around my shoulder while walking around town. Always easy to grab is my personals bag. This is my shaving cream, my shaver. I make sure I have my thimble and I have some things to repair any kind of tears or patch up the clothes I have. As far as clothes go, I'm using a two compartment bag. This one's from Eagle Creek. It zips from two different sides. The reason this is important is this side here is completely mesh and breathable and this is waterproof liner. That's because in these really hot temperatures, my clothes get really kind of smelly kind of quick. So I end up hand washing these. They're a quick dry item. 
So I have two t-shirts on that side, plus one button up. The button up is for nicer locations if I go to dinner or go out. Or in the case of India, almost everybody's gonna wear a button up. They dress up a little bit nicer. So I really wanna to try to blend into how the environment is so I don't stand out. All the other clothes I'm carrying are right here. And this is basically the same clothing pack I carry no matter how I travel or how long I'm traveling. I'm always carrying two pairs of pants. So if one's washing, I have another clean pair. So I'm wearing one pair, so I have one other pair with me. They're always gonna be a lightweight, washable, easy to roll so they don't have wrinkles on them. My socks are gonna be the same thing. I like cotton, but cotton doesn't do well in temperatures. It picks up too much bacteria and things like that. So these are allowing me to wash them, clean them, and reuse them for much longer. See, these are all gonna be synthetic socks. I have two pairs that are spare, one pair that I'm wearing. As far as other undergarments, I do the same thing. I have several pair. I wear a pair. Again, this allows me to recycle. So there's always something being washed and drying while I'm wearing something that's clean and fresh. The last item of clothing I have is just a jacket. And this is a thermal jacket. Obviously in these kind of temperatures, I don't need it. But getting in, in an airplane or even just in a restaurant sometimes with AC, it's just too cold when you've acclimated for the temperature. So I'm always gonna have that here. On a motorcycle, I might have a few other items like rain gear, but this is pretty much everything I'm gonna carry as far as clothing. The other items in my bag, I'm gonna carry a small medical kit and it just carries things like aspirin, Advil, some things, just enough drugs to get me through any kind of situation where I might need to get to medical help. I have first aid, band-aids, just small things. A computer is an essential for me, allows me to do editing, any kind of blogging. And the last thing is my magic notebook. Now, essentially, this is an Everlast notebook and all the pages can be wiped off just like a whiteboard. It allows me to document and make notes along the way so I can put down names of cities, I can make notes of things I've seen so later on when I sit down to record my trip or to do any blogging, I've got all of that here and I can keep reusing it. Also because it's plastic, it's not going to be affected by moisture which when traveling by bike or with heavy humidity can sometimes be a problem. I pack as light as possible. It's less to carry around, it's less to worry about. It keeps the bike light, it keeps my pack light. Thanks for watching.